Bad again, y'all. Sean from Cappy's Cards coming at you today with another eBay mystery box video. Got this one, threw an offer at this one, and uh, it doesn't happen very often anymore where you actually can throw an offer at a box like this, and they took it. So uh, we'll see what's inside. It's supposed to be a mix of all sorts of sports, but of course in my shop we're looking mostly for football and baseball, and especially football right now, as I will be updating all the football packs here soon. The next videos you will see from me on this channel will be the shorts of the football packs as I get them developed starting over this weekend. So let's open this box up. As you can tell, right, all I've done is remove the label and we'll see what's in here. Hopefully there's some nice cards, some stars, things like that to put into the packs and some other cards as well. And we'll just uh, find out. I believe if I remember correctly, there are supposed to be like parallels and stuff at least in here. So uh, we'll find out. And I don't want to cut the cards because I didn't put anything on the top. And we already, whoops, we already see Babe Ruth sticking out there. It's a Leaf card. An old Mark Belanger. That's an actually uh, from the 70s, right? It's a 73 Belanger. That's pretty neat. Um, it's in really good shape for a 73. The one corner's a little dinged. But other than that, I mean, it's, that's pretty, pretty nice for a card that is 50 years old at that point. But we'll find out. Everything I see here so far... For the most part, other than these couple of, you know, Red Sox sitting here and that is a 1976, right? Or is that a, that's a modern card that's reprint. Yeah, but still. Um, and it's busted in the corner too. That one, that one I'm not keeping. That one goes in the old circular filing cabinet. But other than these two Red Sox cards in my hand here, and looks like Jan Gomes and this one here. Everything else I see is junk wax baseball. So maybe that's why they took the offer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I don't even know who Gabe White is. I think I've heard the name. This is a triple A card for the Montreal Expos back then. It's action packed, right? So it's kind of, you know, a little raised up off the card there. Let me get this out of the way. So like as usual, right, if you haven't watched my videos, all these cards, unless I find something that I PC, which would be the Mets or the Cowboys uh, players that I like, Otherwise, they're going to wind up here in the Etsy shop. The link is in the description of the video, as well as the link to all our social media feeds. Give us a like and subscribe, because, you know, like I said, all of these things, I will update the uh, football packs next, right? Baseball's been pretty much updated. I didn't update all the teams, because some of them I have so many in stock anyway, it didn't matter. It looks like I'm going to have even more when I'm done this, so... <laughs> um, but I am getting at least some different stuff here. You don't get a lot of 96 Fleer in things that I you know usually purchase I've never seen a 2013 hometown heroes card you know it's a Donruss card of some kind because it's or Panini because it's uh you know there's no logos or anything but oh boy more 91 Donruss that's that's really what I wanted to see I bought a whole bunch of it from uh past is alive a couple weeks ago no checklists here so let's see check out his channel too he's got a great channel over there you haven't watched that if you like the retro stuff this is 96 94 pinnacle but yeah these will eventually get mixed into baseball packs probably not for a while until i get all the football ones done baseball packs just under two dollars a pack football 360 a pack right 30 cards in each pack 30 different cards a good mix of you know different players you get some stars and some others right but you're not going to get like you know i just had a bunch of 89 fleer you're not going to get 30 89 fleer cards in a pack you're going to get a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of the other thing so here's a random basketball card let's start a basketball pile still hoping for some football somewhere as well as some more modern ish stuff you know it's like that's modern ish terry francona it was listed as many years, right? There's Nolan Ryan, the King of Kings card, and of course it's busted up, right? So not including that one. That stinks. Hate throwing away a Nolan Ryan card, but there's so many of them anyway out there. 90 Donruss, so random Allen and Ginter from 14. Looks like there's a few of them in the box. It's just off camera. You can't see it. And some more mix of these it almost this feels like i'm going through the pharmacy packs right but i'm getting a little bit more of some brands than others but you know where it's mostly junk wax anymore and you get like one or two of the modern baseball cards and then you hope for the best for the packs right so not even going to straighten all these out or we're going to be here all day and 
still more baseball. Yeah, starting to see why he took the offer that I threw at him. <laughs> There's a Albert Pujols card a few years ago. You know, I'm not even going to flip some of these over anymore. Let's, or we're really going to be here forever. Looking for more variety. Let's look at these at least. Hey, we got a moon. Yay. <laughs> um, and some of these all-time cards. Jameson Talion there. And more of these home run he or hometown heroes that I'm not familiar with. More checklists to throw out when I get through there. That's 85, 86 flair, right? Yeah, 86. So it's 87 tops, 90 score. This is, uh, what year is that stadium club? 96? Yeah, 96 stadium club. I'm getting better. Right, you watch my first videos when I'm doing these things, and I was always off by a year or two on every one that I guessed, pretty much. Uh, unless it's the sets that I collected when I was a kid. There's a good number of cards in here, but you're still missing the variety. That I mean, unless you count these moons, which I do have a product over in the shop that has non-sports and basketball and other things in it. And there's some heritage from a couple of years ago, but... Other than that, a little Alan Ginter card fell out of my hand. But other than that, right, I, I don't mess around with the basketball or the foot or the you know hockey or things like that, or I really would be here forever trying to do these things. So more baseball. It's a sticker. I throw in the little cards and the stickers just as a bonus, right? And some random packs. I don't count them as a card towards the 30 in each pack. And if you buy multiple packs of the same teams, you might get doubles. But otherwise, you know, as you can see, I get a variety like this, and I put the variety back into the packs. So lots and lots of junk wax baseball with some random, you know, Ginter and Heritage thrown in so far. I haven't even seen much more of any, like, modern base baseball cards here. Uh, some more Heritage popping up here. Let's flip these around at least. That is 18 Heritage. So that's Pablo Sandoval. Probably the biggest name there so far. Been a lot of, you know, he has Bagwell. There's some random, you know, stars, Hall of Famers in here as well. Wade Boggs. But lots of the others for the packs, right? Um, and I am still seeing... All I can see, is for, you know, not just on top here, but as I can see down in the box on both sides, it's all baseball. So, yeah. Some more 90 score coming, some 92 Donruss. What's that? There's a basketball card. Charles Smith. Locaine. So, yeah, so he's, uh, what's that, late 90s, like 97 Stadium Club? 96. So, off by a year again. That's what I do. Uh, the old 90 score. I cheat, I can look at that. Uh, George Brett in there, Barry Bonds. So, and Bobby Bonilla back to back. Uh, let's grab these random ones that are sitting on the top here. There's Babe Ruth and that, you know. Roof combining his rub for baseball and golf. I guess he's hitting a golf ball. Uh, so Mattingly and Mark Teixeira. Random. Still looking for you other sports. Oh, no. I see some of the big Bowman cards. Those are going to wind up in just a general box. I'm going to throw a box on eBay. My eBay name is Dr. Old School 121. It's my old DJ name. Back when I was a DJ 20 years ago. But I put cards like these, these Bowman ones, not that one though, that's all bent to hell and, and it's a checklist. But those and some other things and, you know, the cards I've got overstock of and, you know, that don't sell as well. I'll just throw them in a random mix box. Thanks for the spacer too. Uh, some of these are going to wind up there. When I say random mix box, I mean like this, but it will have multiple sports in it. Not just, you know, one or two cards like so far. Uh, some old, uh, what is that? Some old Donruss there from 95. 
Hey, we finally found a football card. It's Fred Dean from 81 tops, right? So one football card. So I guess they weren't lying. There was football in there. Um, and there is something different at least, right? Like these cards I'd never seen before. And there are some stars in there. It's not just beat up junk. And there's another Hall of Famer and there's Sammy Sosa too, but they're a little botched up in the corner. So boo bye and we don't have to look at the 92 Fleer too much. Ah, Jose Fernandez, Madison Bumgarner. So there's some modern-ish baseball, right? This is 18 tops. A couple of them here. Ziegler, Engel, Velasquez, Vasquez. And back into the 1990s. What else do we got? Some more. There's 92. That's 92 Fleer, right? Yeah. Uh, there's our random basketball cards. Again, it's Barkley. Always like Barkley when I do catch him on TV. We got a random Kevin Harvick card that's blown up in the corner, but I'll throw it down there just to say, hey, there is something different. Hey, we got another football card. Uh, Bobby Wagner. It's uh, 13 or 14 tops there. I'm not going back and looking at those, but baseball, baseball, baseball. Lots and lots of baseball. I guess when I buy these and I think mix box, right? I think, oh yeah, I guess I have in mind what I would produce, which is sort of normal. That's what we all do about everything. But, you know, there'd be, yeah, there'd be some baseball, but there'd be at least, you know, a third of the box of something different, right? Not, was there like six cards down there of something different? Eight. <laughs> and then all the baseball you could find. There's yeah, some modern in there now. Matsui. It's a different one. Trevor Hoffman. Hall of Famer. No, that's the same card. Uh, and some 87 tops. Yeah. I will straighten them out later. Some Allen and Ginters. What year is this Allen and Ginter? Casimir is a 2011 Allen and Ginter. It's another one I don't see very often. You already see those minor league cards, a studio from 93, I think. Yeah. Uh, 92 Donruss. Some 2,000 tops. That's different. So at least there is some variety in here, right? you got a random Pogs. Is that what those are? Uh, I guess. I don't know. Of Gehrig and Ted Williams. Uh, some Gypsy Queen. Some, again, 2,000 tops, right? So, yay, variety of baseball, but, you know, it could have been worse in this case. Most of them are in good shape so far as we're looking at this, though I will look more closely, of course, as I put them into the packs. You have seen me throw a few away already, but I was really, really hoping for more football. But I guess this just means I'm going to start the pack process sooner with football, so maybe even tonight and I'll have some of the teams back in stock. I am sold out of 22 of the 32 football teams. So really got to get them back in stock for everybody because football is just more popular for whatever reason, right? I guess because baseball is, you know, more readily available in this fashion or, you know, whatever reason. A lot of 86 tops, 88 tops there at the bottom. It's more than 92 Fleer and 89 Donruss. <sighs> oh, well, you don't win them all with these eBay boxes. Sometimes they come out fire, Right? <laughs> Sometimes they come out like this. But again, I, I've definitely had much worse boxes than this, where I've opened them up and everything has been straight trash. Right? As in, I throw it in the trash because it's really somebody's, you know, either they played with it or didn't give a shit about it when they were a kid, right? And everything is beat up and folded and they didn't disclose it, right? So I try when I buy these boxes, um, you know, I try not to buy ones like this that have you know, 10 or 12 in stock, and they'll have one picture, right? Because this obviously wasn't the picture box, but, you know, you only had one in 10 chance of getting that box. So, you know, beyond that, right, this is part of the reason why I, I try to avoid the ones that don't have many pictures or show, you know, some of them you'll see boxes, they're just sealed boxes, and they'll say baseball cards. And those are the ones when I have bought them in the past, right? They usually sell a little cheaper, of course, but when I've bought them in the past, I open them up, and there's a reason why they're cheaper, because they are all beat to hell. So, lots and lots of different baseball cards mixed in. A lot of this 92 Fleer. It's 
So packs are going to be colorful with 92 Fleer and 89 Donruss and uh, the 91 Donruss that I have <laughs> to mix in with them along with the modern stuff. Because that is the other thing I do, right? You're not going to get just junk wax in my packs, right? You're going to get some modern cards as well, even from the last couple of years. I've mixed in some 2023 baseball into some of the packs as I've been able to obtain them. It's just 89 Donruss again. And... Of course, there's plenty of 22 and 21 and, you know, that type of stuff as they are much more readily available or you've seen me open other boxes here on the channel. There's plenty of these mixed box openings that I do. Why are all these backwards? Um, so more of that pinnacle, more of that flare. And we're coming down towards the end of the box since I've been fast-forwarding a lot of this baseball cards, right? It's more of that 97 flare, although that one's... Looks a little beat up. I'll get it when I come back around. But all these baseball, like I said, I'm going to set aside for a little bit. There's Bill Buckner, a year he'd like to forget in his life when he was alive. 1986. More checklists in there. Flavor Torres, or I believe Ronald Torres, yeah. Uh, I thought it was spelled differently. What is this? Virtual reality checklist. And it's like rounded. Weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, so hey, you know, give us a like and subscribe here on the channel. They're not always this dud of a box, right? But, you know, it's, I buy it, you don't. Now, I mean, it is nice to pull Clementes that I can mix in and things like that. It's a nice Arenado. But hey, you know, sometimes there's just stuff. And I really wanted more than two football cards out of this box, and I'm really not going to get it. So, oh well, we'll just go with the football that we've got and get them back in stock. I'm guessing if you are watching this and you've been waiting around for me to do football updates, I'm guessing I'm going to have 15 to 20 of the teams that I've been sold out of, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on the variety once I get back into the uh, various teams. So start watching for them. Like I said, I always put shorts out whenever I update a team and put it back in the Etsy shop. So that's another reason for you to give us a like and subscribe here on the channel as I pull the final card out of the box. So that's it. So if you look at it, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards that aren't baseball when it was advertised as being mixed sport. So uh, <laughs> I guess 10 if you want to include the uh, thing there, right? So is what it is. And, uh, you know, we'll hope for better in the future. So thanks for watching. You've made it this far and we'll see you next time around.